Remember this beauty? She's not working currently. Oh my goodness, look at that. What is that? Ooh, let's get it, boy! What's up, guys? Today, we're gonna run a quick errand. We're gonna take the high boy scooter. I'm gonna show you guys a real world use of these e-scooters, okay? Uh, me and my wife, we like to order restaurant food, but we like to eat it at the house. So I'm gonna go pick it up. We ended up ordering Cheesecake Factory and uh, I'm gonna show you how I use this scooter. I don't have time to figure it out, but I just threw it on top of everything. All right, it is what it is. Okay, it does fit. And that's the beauty of having an e-scooter. They literally fit anywhere, okay? Let's go get this food. I decided today is the day I'm gonna switch up the content, guys. All right, um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've been super lazy like the last month. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I stopped dropping three videos a week. <laughs> it's gotten to the point where I only drop one video a week, and the last video I dropped was like a one minute video. Well, the video prior, actually. The last video I dropped was the scooter video, and that didn't get no views. I'm not surprised because scooter videos really don't do good on my channel anyway, so it is what it is. You know, I still put my best foot forward. You know, I edited the shit out of it, and uh, you know, it's a banger, but it didn't do good views wise but yeah like i was saying i've been lazy and i kind of want to put more into the channel and kind of give you guys a little bit more content uh, because i know you guys would appreciate it so uh, i'm gonna start posting way more content i want to pretty much post a weekly vlog every single week i want to record every time i'm doing anything with an e-bike an e-scooter if i'm doing like a project or anything i'm gonna be recording okay i bet you this dude is about to do a wheelie here we go watch Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. let's get it boy yeah let's get it let's get it let's get it i like that i like that Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah, that was clean. This little carnival just popped up at the mall right here in Temecula. Look at this freaking ride though. Look how high that joint is. What the hell? I would never let my daughter get on that joint. All right, so here's Cheesecake Factory. Boom. We easily could park in the front, but I'm gonna show you guys where we're gonna park. <laughs> Ooh, they got a good park. Nice. Uh, I'll pass. Yeah, that looks just right. <laughs> Look, there's Cheesecake Factory all the way down there. <laughs> all right, let's get the scooter out. It's so light, I can pick it up with one hand. That's so tight. Boom. The food's supposed to be ready at 2.30, but... We're not in a rush to get the food, right? Let's see if I can ride this with one hand without falling. Ooh, a little shaky. <laughs> this is hard. One-handed. Ooh, this is sick. Oh my God. Almost fell. Only thing that sucks is I don't have a lock. So we're probably going to have to hide this thing. Hold on. Here we go. Here's a good spot. Ain't nobody coming over here, right? Right? Oh my goodness, look at that. What is that? That is disgusting. You guys think it'll still be over there? I doubt it, huh? That's okay, it was free. Got the food, now let's see if we still have the scooter. And there's the scooter. Oh, you made it. Nobody wanted to steal you. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. That's freaking disgusting. Let's see, I can just hook it there. No, let's actually hook it on this side. Boom. All right. And we are moving. Look at that. Oh my God. Working like a charm. What is this car doing? Ooh, we are flying. Hit these brakes. Oh yeah. And look at that. 
we have our food scooter worked out fine it didn't get stolen let's go home and eat all right i just wanted to show you guys what the high boy looks like at night when you turn on the headlight let's see so to turn it on you just hit the button once and then there it is so that's the headlight that's what it's gonna look like it's pretty bright and then i don't know if you guys can see but it has like red lighting underneath and then the rear light's super bright but yeah check it out it has like ground lighting super dope there's the headlight it's pretty decent right what's up guys it is currently sunday what is it may 22nd and uh i got a little project that i want to work on today we don't have a lot of time so we probably won't finish it but i want to at least see if it works um i told you guys about it it was the espen nesta the step through bike the one that my wife rides we're gonna try to make that one faster i have a controller that i found that seems to be plug and play um so we're gonna try it out today and i kind of have it started already so it should be pretty simple completely forgot to take the bikes off the charger last night so all these bikes are fully charged and these scooters but they've been charging for like what when did i put them on the charger like 7 p.m and it's currently like 10. luckily the chargers have a bms so when it's fully charged that you see the green light It'll turn on, that means that it's no longer sending power to the battery, but still, like, I wouldn't advise doing this every day. This is a lifesaver. This is a smart plug. All this does is plugs into your wall outlet, and they have an app that you can download to your phone, and pretty much you can control the power, pretty much. You can turn it off and on. So, and you can also set timers, like, you can put it on a timer for like six hours, and then after the six hours, it'll automatically turn off. So that's cool. You'll never overcharge your bikes again. The only reason why I can't put it in the garage is because I live in an apartment complex and I don't think the Wi-Fi reaches to down here. You do need Wi-Fi for this one to work. This blue light means that it's trying to find my phone. I don't think it's gonna connect because I don't think it's getting internet. Here's the app and pretty much you can control it. This one says it's offline so it won't work. But I have two of them and technically if I turn this on, it's turning on the one that I have inside the house, which is super dope. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you guys wanna pick one up. All right, here's the Espen Nesta. As you guys can see, I put the extra battery tray on the front. This is just a placeholder. This is not where it's going to be. But we needed this tray to test if the controller is going to work. I'll explain why. Just give me a second. Hold on. Check that out. We got the Electric XP waiting to be unboxed too. Coming soon. All right, so look. Here's the controller we got, and all the wires seem to be plug and play. The only one that wasn't was this battery cable. This one is a Dean's connector, and the one on the bike is a XT90. So that's the reason why I just got this tray. Where is it? Because this end has a Dean's connector in, and I didn't feel like splicing wires, especially if I don't know if it's gonna work or not. So. This is just to see if it's going to work. And if it does work, we'll figure out a permanent solution. So let's go ahead and open up this box right here. This is where the controller lies. All right, here is the old controller. It is out. Let's put in the new. The first one, it should be color coordinated too. So yellow with yellow. Okay. Interesting. I'm already seeing a problem. So if you notice, 
I don't know if this is male or female, but these are the same ends. So it's not going to go in that end. What the hell? Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's continue, see if it still works. I don't know if it's going to work, though, because what is this, throttle? Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. This one's the display. It should work. That one worked. That's a two pin. That's a three pin. What is this? Five pin. Oh yeah, this ain't gonna work. What was I thinking? Well, it looks like that was a failed mission. <laughs> That's why it's important to check the connectors before you buy it because a lot of this stuff has to be compatible. It seemed like it was gonna be super easy. Um, so we're gonna have to find a use for this. I might post it on OfferUp. Maybe somebody might need it. So, uh, or if you guys need it, let me know. Guys, you know I'm always like customizing the bikes and like taking off old parts and stuff. So I'm collecting like quite a bit of these long folding stems. <laughs> Like a lot and handlebars here let me pull them out in the light i'm gonna show you guys what i got if you guys want any of this stuff just dm me actually you can't dm me because my instagram got hacked so just i guess leave a comment or email me that'll be in the description but let me show you all the spare parts i have it's ridiculous at this point now Check that out. That is ridiculous, right? <laughs> so I got all of these long folding stems. That is like the first thing we take off the bikes. I have a couple suspension seat posts. This was a really good one, but the unfortunate thing is that it didn't fit on any of my bikes. This is the size that it fits. A 30.9 to 27.2 I think that's millimeters but yeah these are like one of the top of the line suspension seat posts compared to these kind where it's kind of like a pogo stick we also have these battery trays this one has the Dean's connector that was the one that was on the Espen this one has an XT60 connection um, these are different trays because if you can see the slots for the battery are different so just take note to that they are the high, the hay long or high long style. All right, this is the controller that you guys just saw. All right, this is a disc brake. This one is 160 millimeters. Okay, this is a cool bag. This is from what is this from? Magic Cycle. Uh, this is like a little storage bag that mounts on the side of your bike. It's pretty sweet. It's waterproof. It is a little dirty because my hands are dirty, but cleans off pretty well we have more stems right here we also have handlebars i like these ones these ones got a little rise to it it's fat in the middle these ones are more straight we also have some big 26 inch by 4 inch fat tires if you guys need spare one of those these are different style this is more of a knobby with like those little pointy things poking out and then this one I don't know, this one's knobby too, but it's just a different tread pattern. So just take note to the differences. All right. Also have the front rack that came off of my Espen Nesta. I think it's pretty universal with the e-bikes that have front racks because they just mount with these four points right here. So if you guys want a front rack, let me know. Also comes with the extension cable so you can mount your front light. And then last but not least, the thing that most of you guys are probably interested in, is the magic cycle 52 volt spare battery okay i got this for free and i don't have a magic cycle bike to put it on <laughs> i was thinking about keeping it for a future project you know if i wanted to make a bike faster only thing is i need to get the mount that uh this battery goes with because if i don't have the mount there's no way that i'm gonna connect it to any kind of controller so i'm thinking about keeping it but if you guys are interested just let me know there's the specs, 52 volt, 15 amp hour, 780 watt hours. Let me know. Obviously, I'm not giving this away for free, but uh, yeah, just hit me up and we can work out a deal. You guys remember that Yammy that I had like a month ago? 
filmed a video, did a review. That joint was like super fast, right? Well, I ended up selling that like a couple weeks after that um, to a guy that lived locally. He was super excited. He liked the BMX bars and all of that stuff. And uh, he's been riding it, you know? Well, when I had the bike, the bike was working perfectly fine. So I don't know what happened, but uh, he said one day the bike just died on him and it's not working. He thinks it might be a battery issue or a controller issue. And I told him I have a controller. So we're gonna see if it works on his bike. And if so, I'm just gonna let him have it. Where do we put that controller is the real question. That would suck if we freaking lost it. I just saw it. Oh, <laughs> I put it in my pocket. All right, anyways, told him to bring his bike. So hopefully we can just get it working right here. Let's go ahead and see. Man, even though I said the scooter is all right, dude, it's been coming in handy like every single freaking day. <laughs> Love the scooter. Okay. Come on. There he is. What's up, man? David Brandon, how you doing, man? Good, good, good. Check it out, guys. Remember this beauty? She's not working currently. Let's go ahead and explain to the people what exactly happened to the bike, just in case somebody out there is going through the same issue. Right. <clears throat> so, I was mobbing this to work, and then I was hitting like a little curb off the curb, and then all of a sudden it just like died. Mm -hmm. I did a little trial and error. I disconnected the battery, went through every wire. The monitor still worked, but kind of like the more I tweaked it, mm -hmm. it just stopped working. Okay, so it did um, turn on at one point, just for a little bit? Yeah, for a little bit. Okay. And then um, when I hold down the power button, mm -hmm. like the brakes work and stuff. Okay. So I know like the connection to the lights work. Okay. It just like- So it's not, a, no it's not a battery issue then? Because you're getting back, you're getting power. Yeah. So it's probably a controller. Yeah. So let's go ahead and open it up then. Here's the controller that I got. I got it from Rattan, but uh -huh. I'm pretty sure Wait, Rattan is, is, is the it? same company as okay. Yami. So. Cool, cool. Honestly, we can put it on the tailgate. You want to? Okay, yeah. let's do that. Hey, you've been riding her. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> this is my daily driver. Nice. Perfect. You need screwdrivers and stuff? You got yeah, it? probably just a screwdriver. Okay. I'll be right back. That's it? Just a screwdriver? That, dude. I fucking love it, dude. I know you Especially do. This this bike is incredible, yeah, dude. The I air. Um, I don't. I didn't show you how to adjust it, but you you know you can get an air pump and just fill the air in, in uh -huh. there. Make it just stiffer? to make it a little bit more stiffer. Gotcha. And I'm right here too. Do that too. Yeah. You know what's funny? Rattan. I don't think Rattan wants to wants people to know that Yami is the same company. Uh huh. <laughs> but they're gonna find out right, today. Right. Like if people open up their bikes, they would know. They would know. You know? Yeah. I think it's gonna work. I honestly think it's gonna work. He said his controller said rattan on it i thought his said yammy i'm pretty sure it's the same exact controller and if so he's gonna get the same amount of power we'll see i'm about to grab a screwdriver real quick and go back out same one same one let's go rattan yep it does look at that guy it actually says rattan on there. I wonder, dude. So, what the hell? Why are the rattan bikes so slow compared to Yanny? This is the old controller, guys. Yeah. It looks the same, but it does say, look, guys, it says two pass, four pass. If anybody knows, let us know. Please work. I don't want to splice. You want in? Yep. Perfect. All right. So, we should have connection, right? Yeah, you should if you put it on the battery plate. Heard a little pop. You turned the key? Yeah, key's on. Alright. You holding it? Yeah. Still no power. We'll see. Try one more time. And then you said last, but previously it was kind of turning on a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So now it's just nothing at all? Nothing. 
But if you press the brakes, the brakes will turn on when you press this. Watch. Hold the brake. Uh, hold the brake. Yeah, see, they're on. They turn on. What do you, how do you know that? Oh, you can see the light? Yeah, you can oh, see the light. Good. Interesting. Is that LCD? So it's got to be like the connection to this, right? It might be the LCD. I had crashed my electric XP and i thought it was a controller issue it was actually the screen once i replaced the screen it worked perfectly really? fine yeah because i have an lcd screen uh -huh. it's not this one but it's not this connector it's um like this connector groups all these wires together pretty much when normally they're separate like this would be its own wire going straight to the controller right. the brakes would be its own wire going right. straight to the controller this one kind of cleans it up yeah but I don't know if the screen I have is compatible because it's a way different connector than that. Well, that sucks. It's not going to freaking work. I was really hoping that his bike was going to work. I think his bike's been down for like over a month at this point. All right. That freaking sucks. And I know the feeling. Okay. I remember when Leticia wasn't working for a cool minute and it was hell. All right. And I can only imagine if that's your only bike. He said he rides that bike to work every single day so this is going to be the end of this video but before i end it just want to hype you guys up a little bit and let you guys know that next week's vlog is going to be the electric xp light okay we're going to be unboxing it we're going to be testing it out throughout the week and we're going to be vlogging the whole time all right it's going to be a banger vlog stay tuned for that that was the end of this one hope you guys enjoyed it like i said change of content long form content Every time I'm doing e-bike, e-scooter stuff, we're recording. All right, until the next video, deuces like that.